what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um, this is going to be a simple video on my email automation this right here is super 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 important uh, for anyone that's capturing leads online so here's what I want you guys to understand is that you have you have the landing page right everyone talks about the landing page capturing leads taking people to your landing page but what a lot of people don't talk about is what happens after the fact Right, so if I'm gonna spend all this money on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, to get a person to this page, to get them to click this button and give up their information, what happens next? That right there is the most important. Now you're either gonna capture this email or you're going to get their phone number, which is even more harder, um, or you're going to simply take them to some type of messenger bot, like a mini chat, and, 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 and create that automation and that follow-up series through Facebook Messenger. Okay, but either, either way, no matter what route you go, it's all about the follow-up. That's what it's all about. Okay, so we're paying money to get people to this page, but the money is really in the follow-up. That's where your ROI is at. Okay, so what happens after we capture the lead? That is your email automation. And again, you keep hearing me talk about Kartra. I use Kartra for everything because it comes with my landing pages, it comes with my email automation. And for those of you that are that are creating digital courses, it comes with my actual course. So that's all under my memberships. I have a full-blown training course that I can sell, which under my products, that's all my digital products that I can sell. Um, I can host my videos, I can host my calendar. So as these emails go out, people come over here, they click on that button, they give up that, that email. As emails go out automated, what Kartra also um, is for is my calendar. So in my emails, I actually provide a link where people can schedule an appointment. So that's all in the email series, um, sequence, email, autoresponder, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then my campaigns, I can build funnels for people, I can sell funnels, I can share funnels, um, and all that stuff. And then, of course, all my affiliate marketing. So Kartra is just, is just a one-stop shop, one -stop shop for everything when it comes to building a business online, especially a digital business, okay, an informational product business where you're selling digital products. But what I wanted to show you real quick is what I'm, what I'm actually doing. This is stuff that I'm actually in the trenches, um, and I just figured I, I'd kind of show you what I'm doing. Um, as people come to this page, right, they give up their name and email, that email autoresponder is right here. So what you're, what you're going to do, you're going to click on my communications. And then as you come into my communications, it's one thing to have a list. Okay. So, um, as you're building out this, this whole entire funnel, right, this campaign, the people who land on this, the people who give up their name and email, those people are on a very specific list okay so when it comes to email automation you have your list and then you have your email autoresponder and in Kartra it's called sequences okay so you have your sequences and you can come in here hit hit the green one and and and, and create a whole a whole new sequence now i have a video in fact if you don't know how to even set one up stay to the end of the video and i'll tie that to the end but you'll see how I actually set up an email autoresponder, like an email sequence. Now, in this case, I'm already here. I've already created one, but I'm showing you what I do to, to, to set it up and to really manage it and to really make sure that, it, that it's functioning, you know, at, at its highest capacity. So in here, they come to the page, they opt in. Now they're on a very specific list in an actual, and, and, and that list, is separate from the sequence so those are the two things that you need to know okay they opt in now they're on a list but that list is also tied to a sequence okay now it doesn't have to be tied to a sequence but I'm telling you that's the importance the importance is the follow-up that's your email autoresponder that's the actual sequence okay so this is my sequence right here so as they opt in they're gonna get an email right away which is which is in when you come to Kartra my forms so for example this right here they come to this page here's the landing page right they click on the blue button this is the form so the way you build it up in Kartra is the fact that the form is its own independent component so it's in the form where they opt in right they name they, they give up their name and email that's the form 
right when that form is triggered, right when a person opts in through the form, I automatically send out an email. So in here, as you're setting up your forms, you can choose to send out an email right away. So that's what happens with mine. So if any of you guys, so in this case, with this page, if any of you guys are looking for, for, for the, just the beginner gold mine guide of Facebook advertising, this is a page you want to check out for sure. And the link is in the description, fbadsforbeginners.com. But this page right here is, um, is, is, is your beginner guide of Facebook ads. But at the same time, that once you opt in, you're going to get an email right away. And what I'm saying is that it's coming from the form, okay? The sequence is what I chose to have go out five days later. Now, you can choose to go out however many days. It can go out a day later. It can go out, it can go out two days later. It can go out 10 days later, whatever. But I'm just kind of giving you my, my strategy and, and how I do it. I send out an email right away. You opt in, you're going to get an email right away. And then five days later, I'm sending you another email. Five days later, I'm sending you another email. Five days later, I'm sending you another email. Five days, five days. Now, in this specific case, what I'm doing here is this is an actual sequence for my social media clients. So that's why you're not getting an email every day. There's a lot of lists that you, that you, hop, that you opt into, and the way they have their sequence set up is they're sending you an email every day or an email every other day. I definitely have lists like that. Like for example, if you go to, if you go to um, my page over here, Digital Agency Blueprint, that link is also in the description. If you come to this page, this is where I'm teaching people exactly how I built my agency. Okay, I've been building a social media agency for the past four years, since 2016. Um, so depending on when you're watching this video, I've been building one successfully focused on one niche, hitting them through the DM, closing deals, all through, all through the DM, um, all through Zoom, and, and I've been doing that successfully since 2016. Closed hundreds and hundreds of clients offering social media services and Facebook advertising, okay, since 2016. So this page right here, when you click on Teach Me and you opt into this one, this is where I have set up an email going out every other day. And it's going out every other day for like a couple months, right, until you opt out, obviously. But... With this one that I'm working on over here, just to give you some, some context, this one that I'm working on is for my social media clients. So I'm not sending them an email every day. Like, that's crazy. Like, I'll speak to them today. I'll close them today. I'll get their credit card today, right? I'm doing all that over Zoom. I have plenty of videos showing you how, to, how I do that on my YouTube channel here. So, so go to the playlist. Um, in fact, you know what? Go to... You can go to this playlist over here. And again, if you haven't subscribed, man, make sure you subscribe. Smash the bell for notifications. I'm dropping daily videos, weekly videos on social media marketing, Facebook advertising, and making money online. So stuff that I'm doing, it's stuff that I'm in the trenches experiencing, and I'm documenting, you know, my every step pretty much. So over here, when you come to my channel, actually, well, shit, you guys are on my channel now, but when you come to the actual playlist, let me, I don't know what the hell is wrong with my internet, but let me, um, okay, here we go. So when you come over here, you're going to, you can click on playlist and you can watch, um, it's this one right here. It's, um, and I'll put this one, it's how I'm building my social media agency. I'll put this in the, in the card above. So click, click above and you'll see the little, the little freaking, the little icon and you can watch this playlist, but I have so many videos of how I'm actually building my agency, but um, with this with this particular one, it's for my clients, right? It's for my actual social media clients. So I don't I don't need to email them every day. I speak to them today. I close them today. I grab that credit card. Now I'm onboarding them as a client, and then this is an email that I send out to them five days later, and it's just to say hello. And then and then five days after that, I'm sending them another email. And all of these are strategically placed, you guys. Here's my whole thought pattern, and here's what I've been doing. Um, and all I'm doing right now is I'm going in here to change up some verbiage. I'm going to be adding a few, a few pages. I'm going to be adding some things and just dressing up these emails a little bit more. And that's why I thought I'd you know, share it with you guys. But every single email that goes out, there's intention behind it. So, for example, five days later, they're going to get this email. Simple, basic email, nothing fancy at all. Um, let me open it up for you guys. Um,
And so this is going out to my realtor clients and it's just to say hello. So five days later, five days later, let me go into the edit because this is what I have to check. This is why I, I wanted to bring you guys on because this is, again, this is shit that I'm already doing. But if I come in here, I can change the email that's coming from, I can change the days that it's going out. I can change the amount of days that is waiting the delay. Um, I can change obviously the, the, the content, the text. Um, and this is what I'm, I'm, I'm referring to. So in here, what I do is I send out basic text emails. You can come in here and get super fancy and there's so many different templates and I can use these templates and build around these templates, but I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not that corporate, you know, person. So I don't use these major pretty looking templates. I tend to, to tend to, to experience a super high open rate when they're just basic text. Now everyone's a little different with their business, but when I send out basic text emails, my open rate is ridiculous. Like people really open up my email. Um, and, and I think because I keep it simple, but this is an email right here that I'm just saying hello. Just wanted to say hello and let you know our ad is live and running great. We'll reach our goal in no time. Please feel free to reach out if you need anything. As mentioned, so I'm just kind of setting the stage, right? The next step is next step is step three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply bold this simple text, you guys. This is basic step stuff. As I mentioned on our previous call, this is step one and two. Step next is step three, in which we take over your entire local area with simple, inexpensive Facebook ads. I can't wait to talk to you regarding all that. Let's reach our like count first. Then we'll we'll then we'll strategize. See, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm going over this. Then we'll strategize for lead capture. Look for my emails coming up. I have some great video trainings coming your way. Cheers, talk soon. See, so that right there, you guys, is an email that I'm sending out five days later. This links to my business page. Oh, and if you, oh, and if you ever need to schedule a strategy call, click here. And that takes them straight to my calendar. So that's why my online calendar is super, super important. And again, I use Kartra for all of that. So there's a link in the description for a 14-day trial, profitwithkarcher.online. My calendar is game-changing because as these emails go out, I'm also having a call to action to get that person back on the phone. Okay, so this right here is what I needed to just simply do some simple, simple edits. And again, I wanted to share it with you guys. So down here, I have a footer. Those take people to my social media links. Very clean, very basic, and very, very simple. And then I'll, I'll change this to, hey, Jack, just wanted, just wanted to reach out. Just wanted to reach out. Just wanted to reach out. Hey, Jack, just wanted to reach out. Okay. And the way I actually, the first name, here's what you do is you just go to dynamic variables. And this right here, I copy, and then I bring that over. And I could put their first name in. Anywhere it could be the it could be in the subject line. I could I could put it down here. I love using their first name. I have some great videos. I have some great training videos coming your way. Cheers. Talk to you soon. I can't wait to talk to you regarding all that. Um, let's see where else can I put their first name. Please, please feel free to reach out to me anything. As I mentioned on our previous call, Jack. Actually, I won't I won't put their name anywhere else. But it's up there at the top. But all I do is just copy and then paste, and then that's that's it to put their first name. You always want to use their first name because it's more personal, obviously. And people love hearing their first name for sure. So that's email number one. That goes out five days later. And, and also when I onboard a social media client, again, I take them to a simple landing page, they fill out a form and they receive an email right away. So they're getting an email from me right away, a thank you email. It's an email requesting what I need from them because I'm going to be managing their social media. I'm going to be running their Facebook ads. So it's an onboarding email that they receive right away um, as, 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 as the onboarding process you know, begins. But again, this is my sequence. This is my email sequence. This is what's going out five days later. Okay, and up here at the starting rules, this is what I'm telling Kartra to do. So it's people who fill out the form right? They fill out the opt-in form. So that's the form over here. That's the form. They're filling out this form, realtor clients. They're filling out that form or they're tagged realtor clients. That's the starting rule. So anyone that has a tag or anyone who fills out that form, make sure that they, that they start to receive these emails. This is the sequence. Okay. So five days after that, should we go up? 
Okay, this is an email where I'm getting, I'm literally upselling them. So 10 days later, I'm upselling them for more. I'm upselling them for more money. I'm just, based on my services and what I got going on, you guys, this is an upsell. Actually, let's get out of this recipient. Um, but this is an upsell, should we go up? So all I'm asking in that email is if we should increase the budget on what we first started with, should we go up? Right, and so this right here, let's go come in here and edit this one. Because you're either gonna, you're not gonna follow up and call them all the time, man. That's not what you're gonna do. You're not gonna call them all the time, and you're not even gonna really text them all the time because this is too much information to text. And I'm not gonna Facebook message them all this information either. So it has to happen through an email autoresponder. That's what's going on, you guys. So hope you're well and close escrows. I'm setting up a few like ads tonight for my newest clients. Um, we had a great momentum the first time. So all I'm doing is I'm simply upselling them for more, um, for more, for more budget, right? Having them increase the budget, making them, you know, think bigger and, 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 and letting them know, Hey, our ad is going very, very well. Let me know if you want to increase the budget. Okay. That is my second email that goes out five days after that. So a total of 10 days after I've already spoken to that client, after I've already closed that client, I should say. Okay, so that's the second email. And then five days later, I'm sending them another email. Time to capture local leads. So a lot of you guys go into, a lot of you guys that are building social media agencies or at least aspiring to, you're trying to close that client on a couple grand a month the very first conversation that you have. I don't do it that way. Like I start them super small, small enough where it's small to them, but at least the but, but at the same time, the profit margin is still good where I can still feed my family, right? I still have a great profit margin built into the slower, in, uh, built into the lower package. So that lower package allows me to make a good upfront weekly income when I sell them on a lower package first. And then it's not until 15 days later where I'm getting them, where I'm sending them this email. And now it's time to talk about a bigger package. Okay, now we got step one and two out of the way. It's time to have some local fun. Step three is all about local lead capture. This is when we start targeting your local area with Facebook ads to capture buyer and seller leads. Here's a video of me explaining how powerful slash effective this can be. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a video here, which I have to write down so I don't forget this. Um, so I don't forget to do this. So it's actually email number three. Let's jot this down. Um, email number three. Okay, so let's go sequence. Sequences. And then it's, it's email number three. We need a video. Video needs to get done. Okay, so this is email number three. So all I'm gonna do is this link is gonna go to an actual um, page. So this right here, okay? So this right here is where I'm taking them. So I already have the page somewhat built out. Step three, so I, I named it that, and local Facebook video ads. So this is where, this is not the video that's supposed to go there, but I'll redo the video and then boom. And here's the deal. Look, I'm taking them from an email. I'm taking them from an email, right? And then right here, I'll put the image for the, for the actual um, um, video so they can click on the image and it'll take them straight to this page. So I'm gonna link this link, which it's already linked under watch here. But once I add an image right here, I'm gonna, I can also link the image. So that's super powerful. So I can grab the image. I don't have an image right here, which I'll get an image, no big deal, but I can link the URL. So when they click on the image, it's gonna take them straight to here. So here's why I take them to a page. I take them to this page so I can keep their attention and not send them to YouTube, for example, you know, and, and have them watching cat videos two minutes later. I want all their attention and I want it on one page right here. But most importantly, most important. Well, there's a, there's a few reasons. Number one, it's for the attention. Number two, it's to Facebook pixel them. So now I'm able to Facebook pixel and create a custom audience around all these people who are landing on this page. Number three, 
is so they can click on that and schedule an appointment. Three top reasons why I'm sending you to a page from my email, okay? Those are powerful, you guys. Those are powerful. And again, that's why I use Kartra for everything, even the calendar. So I can link that straight to my calendar and get that person to schedule a call with me. So this right here is my is my system, you guys. It's my strategy. It's my kind of format on how I'm you know rolling out my business and how I've been doing it for for a while now. Um, and you want to keep the emails simple. You want to keep them straight to the point. You want to make sure they're relevant, and you want to make sure you're tracking all of the activity. So um, this right here is an email that they'll receive. Time to capture local leads. Um, hey Jason. Okay, so I got that. So so now I know that I need to I need to make a video for that. Um, and I'll do that tomorrow. And then so 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 I'm touching this client. Look at this. Let me let me close this one. So that went out. That went out. So I closed the client. Right. I closed them. And then, and then they received an email right away on, for the onboarding. And then five days, five days later, five days later, five days later, and then five days later, and then five days later. So this is going to be right here. Let's open up the next email. So now 20 days later, 20 days later, they're going to receive this email. Okay. And this is going to be an email talking about landing pages, how to capture leads on social media. And it's going to be through landing pages. So it's gonna be another page that I'm taking them to. So watch here and I gotta write this one out. Um, so let me write this down. Okay, so this is where it'll be another video of me. Okay, and let's, let's open this up so I can see so I can show you, I should say. So this is step four. So I already have the link and the page ready to go. I just have to fill it. So again, taking them to the page so I can keep their attention, Facebook pixel them, and then lead them to my Kartra affiliate link. So in this video, I'll be talking about landing pages. I'll be talking about this is how you capture leads. And the call to action is to get them to set up a 14-day trial. And when they do that, guess what? I get paid. That's affiliate marketing. And so as you hear me talking about affiliate marketing, I affiliate market with Kartra. I'm an affiliate with Kartra. And the reason for it is because I'm fired up on online entrepreneurship. And I'm truly convinced that every single person building a business needs landing pages and an email autoresponder. Forget about all the other stuff that I'm telling you that Kartra provides, all this other stuff. Just pages and my communication. Landing pages, email autoresponder. Every business needs that no matter what. And so I'm able to, you know, really, really, really do a lot of tutorials, create a lot of content around that alone. Um, and, and, and for it, I'm talking about, you know, Kartra and making a commission on it all. And because it's a software which comes with a monthly reoccurring payment, I get paid residually every single month. So when you come over here and you set up your 14 day trial and you decide to keep it, I get paid every month. That's powerful. So that's another form of income that I'm creating all through Kartra, but I'm showing you how I'm doing it. Not only am I doing it just through my YouTube channel, but I'm also doing it with my clients and taking them through a, a series of emails to get them seeing what I'm talking about, right? So this right here is another email that goes out. I'm able to Facebook pixel them right here. I'm able to take them to my affiliate link right there. Um, and then also, also the last email, let's go to the last one. So let's all work on this one, Jack. This is how you capture leads. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to exit out of this one and let's go to the next one, which is where I'm talking about email automation. Okay. Because after we capture the lead, as I'm telling you, what happens after? And that's this last one over here. So this right here, let's open up this one. So we can, 
what happens after you capture the lead. So this right here is what I'll write out. So video and text needs to be done on this one. Okay, so let's see if I have the page set up for this one, which I'm pretty sure I do. Let me check. Yeah, so this right here, this is where I'm taking them again. So fifth email, I'm now touching them five different times, right, within that within that 25-day period, and this is email automation. So what I'm doing is I'm simply sending them an email. I'm, send, I'm sending them to a page to keep their attention, to Facebook pixel them, and the call to action, taking them straight they click on that, and now I get to educate them, or Kartra gets to educate them even more on email automation. And guess whose affiliate link is tied to it all? Yours truly. You guessed it. Mine, right? So I'm getting email. I'm getting affiliate commissions out of it all, you guys. I'm educating my audience. Um, I'm able to create Facebook custom audiences because I'm tracking it all with my Facebook pixel up here um, on every single one of these pages. And um, that's the fifth email. So if I come back, let's look at it all again one more time. This is a client that I just brought on board, right? They receive an email from me right away. The second that I opt them into a page, they receive an email from me right away, okay? And then five days later, they're gonna receive another one, okay? So five days later, that's one, two, three, four, five. They're receiving five emails from me in that next 25 day period. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more. And this right here is going to be an email that I send them on the 30th day. So, five days later. Okay. Five days later, I'm going to send them one last email. And that's all I need for the sequence. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for the sequence. And then if I ever want to email them again, email that list, then I can just send a broadcast and it's a one-off email. If I'm thinking something or if, or if I want to teach them something or if I want to you know, show them something out, I'll send a broadcast email and that's a one-off email. But the sequence, these are going out while I'm sleeping. These are going out while I'm butt naked on some private island with my wife. You know what I mean? Like these are going out while I'm sleeping and having a good time doing other stuff right? That's automation. You need that in your business. Okay. So I'm going to set this for five days later and I just leave it for all days. I don't change any of that. That doesn't matter. And I'm going to name this one. Um, let's chat ASAP. So now this last email is I am going to try to get them back on the phone. Okay. So remember these, just because the emails are going out, doesn't mean that they're um, opening all of them, right? People are busy, right? They're open all of them. They're not opening up all of them all the time, right? Sometimes people skip. But this is one that I'm going to try to email, that I'm going to email them and try to get them back on the phone. So I'm going to go subscribe to, so send if subscribed to the list, right? Because sometimes people can unsubscribe, right? I don't want to send this automated email to those that may have unsubscribed, you know, freaking 10 days ago. So I want to make sure that they're subscribed to the list and then they'll get this email. So this right here, and also I set up, I set up a template. So if I click on advanced, I saved my template, just a basic template that I just drag over and I drop. And the reason why I saved it is because it has this footer at the bottom. So I just made sure I don't have to keep adding this every time. So I saved the template. And then I also saved my hyperlink of, of my name, David Cantero. And then right here is where I can just write the next email. And so I'm going to copy their name. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Let's, um, let's bring text over. Oh, shit, I'm glad I did it so I can show you how I do it now. So just bring this text over. And I can drop it right there. And then, boom, I can paste their name, which is what I copied. And so this right here is too big, so I'm going to go with what I normally use, which is 
I think it's 14. Shit, I gotta check the font size now. I'll just leave it at that for now. I'll change it. But um, this right here is now where I'm trying to get the back on the phone. Back on the phone. Um, let's go. Hey Jack, just wanted to check in. Just wanted, just wanted to check in. Just wanted to reach out, reach out to see if you got my last few emails. Now, now is the time to start capturing local leads. Let's chat ASAP. Okay, so damn, I don't know what font I would. I'll change that font. And so here's what I can do. I can obviously hyperlink this, right? I can hyperlink this and have it go straight to my calendar. Or I can add a button. I can get a little fancy and I can add a button if I want to add a button. So I can add a button right here. This is what I normally do. So I'll add a button and then I'll put click here, click here to schedule, to schedule strategy call. Okay, and then what I also do is I'll grab the same color that I'm using for everything else. I'll grab that same color and bring it over here. And I'll paste it. So there's that same color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it. Okay, I'm going to link that. Here's the URL right here, the URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the link, the URL to my calendar. And then I simply put it right here, paste it right there. So now that's going to go straight to my calendar. Okay, so I'll change out the font um, in a second, but um, I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. So um, let's go to dynamic. I'll put, you know, I'm just going to put, did you? Did you receive, did you, did you receive my last emails? Okay. Just want to reach out to see if you got my last, my last few emails. Now is the time to start capturing. Now, now is the time to start capturing local leads. Let's chat ASAP. Click here to schedule strategy call. So I'll, I'll work on this. I'll put a little bit more text. Um, but that's the idea. And then I can send test to make sure that that email is working properly. I can do that. And then um, I'll hit next. And then I don't need any of that automation just yet. And so here's what I'll do. Once you create that, then you got to activate it. So here's the email right here. It's inactive right now. So I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to drop it right below. And then I'm going to hit the three dots. Activate. I'm not going to click on them. I'm actually going to hover over the three dots. Activate, and then I simply connect it. That's it. And then what I'm going to do also is I can put a completion. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to I'm going to hover over this. Or actually, I'm going to drag complete, and I'm going to drop the complete right below. Let's chat. So let's. Um, in fact, let's drag it again. Okay, so let's park it right below. I'm going to hover over the three dots. I'm going to activate it. And that right there will give it a completion. So I'll be able to track who completed, right? I'll be able to, through my analytics, I'll, I can see, you know, who completed all, all the emails. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six emails, you guys, a total of seven. I am touching that person seven times in a 30 day period period. This is a client. Okay. This is not a prospect. This is an actual client that I'm, that I'm just bringing value to, and I'm going to be bringing value through the videos. That's what's so powerful is, is taking a person to a video of you. Okay. That's super powerful. So 
I just wanted to walk you through this, you guys. This is how I set up my, my email sequence for my actual clients. Um, and so again, if you haven't tried out Kartra, man, there's a 14 day trial right below. Profit with Kartra.online. Set up your email sequence, nurture your list, and close those deals. I'll see you guys on the next video.